I'm Van Helker of Waterline Boats in Boatshed Port Townsend. I'll be providing you with a virtual walkthrough of this Willard 47 Dover Pilot House today. This extraordinary vessel has been very well cared for by her owners of the last 14 years and has undergone three refits during that time in 07-08, 2014, and again in 2021. Step aboard and into the cockpit and enter the salon through a double hinged door. This vessel has a beam of over 15 feet, so despite having walk around decks, the salon is still incredibly beamy. I like that there's room for two freestanding upholstered chairs. The settee seats several comfortably or more with pull up chairs. The galley adjoining the salon has a good amount of counter space and storage for pots, pans, and provisions. Two fridges, three burner propane stove, and a microwave. Just forward of the galley, a set of stairs leads down to the staterooms. The master stateroom lies all the way forward in the bow. This space features a queen-size walk-around berth with storage beneath, hanging lockers, port lights to port and starboard, as well as overhead and an overhead hatch for lighting. This stateroom also has its own head with vacuum flush toilet and a separate shower stall. Just aft of the master stateroom lies the second stateroom, which features two berths. The lower berth is a queen, the upper berth a single. This space also has a hanging locker. Immediately across from the second stateroom lies another head, which features a vacuum flush toilet and, like other spaces on this vessel, a good amount of storage. To access the pilot house, we go back into the salon and up a few steps. The bright, spacious pilot house feels like the bridge of a much larger vessel. The electronics are modern and were updated during the 0708 refit, or even more recently in some instances. The bench, just aft of the helm, offers good visibility and seating for several people, including the captain, if desired, through the use of the autopilot remote. Electronics include dual VHF radios, a Garmin chart plotter, Raymarine depth sounder, Furuno 36 mile radar, and a GPS configured laptop with nav software installed. Moving on to below deck spaces, we can drop into the tank room through the salon. Most systems on this boat have been removed and replaced over the last 14 years by Port Townsend Shipwrights Co-op. Note how well laid out and labeled the wiring is. Same for the main engine fuel distribution manifold and filtration system. The water heater and potable water pump are located at the forward end of the tank room. Note the beautiful PEX plumbing for the Hurricane Diesel hydronic heater, also located forward here to starboard. Also housed in the space are five fuel tanks for a total of 700 gallons of diesel fuel. The two 315 horsepower Cummins 6 BT 5.9 liter engines have about 1200 hours each on them and were installed by Port Townsend Shipwrights Co-op in 2014. Both engines were just fully serviced and the owner has been very diligent about taking oil samples with a history dating back to when the engines were new in 2014. The cockpit enclosure, easy to remove or install if desired, really expands the living area into the cockpit. Railings which run the full length of the side deck help prevent falls overboard. The foredeck has storage, seating, a six-person life raft, a 24-volt Lofrans windlass with 350 feet of chain, and a 73-pound Rockna anchor. Note the beautiful finish on the exterior woodwork as we walk down the port side towards a flybridge ladder which provides access to the flybridge. The flybridge has a second helm station as well as bench seating that faces port, starboard, and ahead. The mast is relatively new and of aluminum construction and features a hinge which allows it to be folded down for boathouse storage. A 12-foot aluminum skiff with 15 horsepower Yamaha outboard is deployed with a Nick Jackson 1,200-pound davit. 
14 years of love, care, and unsparing upgrades by experienced cruisers mean that this Willard is optimized and well-equipped for safe, comfortable cruising. This vessel has traveled the inside passage four times under her current owners, and she is truly ready to go to Alaska or most any other destination today.